In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create annual report cover slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide looks. As you can see here, I have created a hexagon shape where I've added different images and I've given some orange and the dark blue color combination on the left top right. You can add the company name and the logo and below you can add some title and detail text and you can put the main title which is 2023 annual report. And if you have not subscribed to my channel PowerPoint University, please subscribe and make sure to enable the bell notification icon. You can join my telegram group with the help of this link. And if you like to support my channel, you can do it through PayPal or Patreon. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide and I'm going to insert one hexagon shape here. For that, go to insert shapes from the basic shapes. I'm going to choose the hexagon. Just click it here and height i'm going to make it as 5.41 and width i'm going to make it as 6.28 and align center align middle and you can see the small orange point i'm just going to drag this inside like this all right then i'm going to just change the color to some other color and shape outline make it no outline and i'm going to add one more shape where it should join or intersect from this end from this corner to this corner for that go to insert shapes from the basic shapes i'm going to choose a right triangle draw a right triangle shape outline make it no outline rotate make it flip horizontal and bring it here you can see here this point it's okay let me just remove the make it more transparent and here you can see here this bottom part should come here all right so this one this corner and here this corner all right so let me just make it somewhat i think this is perfectly all right all right now go to insert again shape select one rectangle draw the rectangle shape outline make it no outline and I'm going to select this shape and this shape, merge shape, I'm going to make it a union. All right, and then send this to back. All right. If you want, you can just change the color to a darker color and remove the transparency effect. So we end up getting a shape which looks like this. Then I'm going to add one more uh, shape the same one the same hexagon press ctrl d to duplicate and give some other color and then hold the shift key reduce the size all right again align center align middle so let me just reduce it further again align center align middle all right now this particular shape i'm going to cut this into uh, six equal parts all right so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add one rectangle, draw one rectangle, maybe this much height and width. Again, that can be changed. Shape outline, make it no outline and then make it transparent. All right. Again, make sure align center, align middle. And then here I can rotate it with the help of this arrow key. You can see here I can just make it like this it's somewhat time consuming or you can just hold the alt and the right arrow key as well okay and just make sure that this has to be properly aligned okay so press ctrl d to duplicate again align center align middle and then alt one two three four press ctrl d again one two three four okay so this is from the four places I'm going to cut this white, this particular gray box, okay, or the hexagon shape. So select the hexagon, hold the shift key, select these three rectangles, merge shape, and I'm going to make it a fragment, okay. I don't want this one. I'm going to select and delete it, delete, and inside also, this also, I'm going to delete it. Control Z, select this one, delete and delete. And here also we can delete it. We can zoom in and I can just delete which I don't want. So you can see here I've got this shape. Now I'm going to duplicate this, press Control D again, 
make it a white color reduce the uh, the size of this one maybe this much size again shape format align center align middle okay if you want you can just increase the size by holding the control shift key okay i need this much size i think this is okay all right this color also i'm going to fill this with white now we have we look it looks something like this so not what i'm going to do is i'm going to select all these shapes okay this shape only Control g to group it and then i'm going to insert one picture here so click on the picture or texture click on insert online pictures and here i'm going to type some business image example and then we will just choose some nice image here we can see here we have got different images so any good image maybe i am going to choose this one click insert and this image got inserted here and if you want you can just change it again by selecting only this one again picture or texture fill click on insert online pictures and i will just say for example glass structure and here i can just choose any glass structure maybe i'm going to choose this one or click insert so this got changed now i'm going to select this one i would like to insert one image of a businessman so i'll just say that businessman and i'm going to choose some nice image from this any whichever image is better click insert and image got inserted here and here you can rotate with shape and you can align it properly so you can see here uh, we have added this shape the we have filled this one and then you can add one more shape where you can uh, uh, corresponding to this corner you can add one more shape okay so to, for the time being, I'm just going to select this shape and I'm going to give a different color so that uh, this is properly aligned. So go to insert shapes. Again from the basic shapes, I'm going to choose a right triangle. Draw a right triangle, shape outline, no outline. Again, flip horizontal and bring it to this end. You can see here, let me just make it transparent. All right and here i'm going to increase the size like this and here i can make it like this all right if sometimes if you can see here it is not coming properly so in that case what you can do is uh, you can uh, right mouse click edit point and then you can correct it okay so here i can just bring it here and exactly i can align with this okay so i got it aligned now i'm going to join this one with the help of one more oval uh, sorry the rectangle okay now shape outline make it no outline select both the shapes and make it union and remove the transparency effect shape fill i'm going to fill this with orange or any other color and then send this to back so you can see here we end up getting something like this now i'm going to bring this back to the white color again all right again if you want we can add one more white uh, border here also okay again to do that one maybe you can just select this one press ctrl d to duplicate and make this as white and then a little bit move and then send this to back you can see here i have just added one more kind of uh, border here all right so you can see here our design is almost ready now i'm just going to fit to the slide go to insert text box here i'm going to say 2023 color i'm going to choose as the same color which i've used the dark blue i'm going to use the font open sans maybe condense increase the size all right and put it here if you want you can make it to extra bold as well all right the same thing i'm going to drag this here 
change the font color to white increase the size and I'm going to type annual report okay and then put it here maybe the size is too big 40 is okay and put it exactly in the center something like this and then this side you can add one company name here so I'm going to type company name again choose the font of your choice all right and then the same color I'm going to use and you can add one logo here so I'm just going to add one oval shape this is the place where you're going to add the logo and give any color all right and somewhat bring it down and once this is done you can add a few more uh, text or some more shapes for so example i'm going to choose this one press ctrl d to duplicate shape outline make it white shape fill make it no fill and then reduce the size and then simply you can just add it like this press ctrl d you can see here i can add like this ctrl d again i'm going to add like this and the same way i can just add it here also at the top sorry let me just select this one and then align it you can see here let me just zoom out and I can just press ctrl D to duplicate I can add few more like this all right so like this you can just add uh, some more you know some geometric shapes to it and if you want you can just add one more press ctrl D to duplicate maybe I'm going to choose the outline color as orange and i'm going to put it here like this all right again if you want you can add one more and which looks like this all right so if i show the screen slideshow it looks something like this